You will become an explorer into the mysteries of life. Why are we attracted to one person and not another? What happens when we confront our darkest fears? Can we ever become young again? What are the limits of human endurance? Celebrate the power of the human spirit in its relentless pursuit of knowledge. The more we know, the more powerful we become. Explorations. On exploration and how to win the war against aging, has this woman really found the secret of eternal youth? I will never forget the first day that I injected myself. It really has turned back the hands of time. Can pills give this couple a longer life? It's been a year that I've been taking these. I really do feel like my brain is getting younger. And why this man thinks that eating less could double his life. It's essentially it's an attempt to grow older more slowly. And that's what I'm on this diet for. Diane Gilman is fighting a war against aging. I was always the kind of person that believed you could fight Mother Nature. If you ate right, if you exercised right, if you got enough sleep, and at about 50 years old, I just hit a brick wall. Mother Nature said, uh-uh, those aren't the plans I have for you. In the age wars, there are many fronts. But despite valiant efforts, it's a war that's never been won. I couldn't fight all of the things that were happening to me, many of which I didn't even understand were about aging. Horrible back pains, terrible pains and cramps in my legs. Diane's body was suffering the onslaught of time. Daily life puts strain on our bones and wears down our joints. No part of the body is unscathed. Skin, once taut and fresh, loosens and sags with age. As the vital proteins, elastin and collagen, are lost, wrinkles form. Age stretches our features and contorts the face. The signs of aging may be apparent on the outside, but it's on the inside that the war really rages. inside the trillions of cells that make up our body. Each day, rogue elements bombard our cells and cause untold damage. Eventually, our bodies can no longer repair that damage. The cells break down and the body starts to fail. But Diane might have found a way to reverse that process. It's called human growth hormone. Still in clinical trials, Diane is one of the first to use it. Through our childhood, our bodies produce large amounts of growth hormone. It helps to build muscle and repair tissue. But in our early 20s, levels start to drop off. By old age, our bodies produce very little. At 53, Diane is injecting herself with enough growth hormone to reach the level she had in her 20s. This requires two shots a day at a cost of over $1,000 a month. I will never forget the first day that I injected myself with human growth hormone. I felt like a watch. If you have a watch where you can see all the cogs and, and mechanisms working on the back, it was like everything was working and going in one direction, which everything came to a halt and then started to go in another direction. It really has turned back the hands of time. Some of the other positive effects of taking growth hormone are a reduction in fat and increased muscle mass. Diane has been able to shed her unwanted pounds. From our mid-30s onwards, we gain a pound of fat every year it accumulates around our internal organs. This scan is a cross-section of a middle-aged woman. The light areas show fat. 
After six months of treatment with human growth hormone, much of the fat has gone. Diane believes human growth hormone has proven a powerful weapon in her fight against aging. If she wins her battle, there's one scientist who's going to become very rich indeed.